students today we will take one more example that is uh, number 5 on thermal expansion so as uh, i told you we will take up uh, two two questions on each section so that you will have that uh, good knowledge of uh, how to uh, solve a question so question number 5 uh, i just write down the question for you So it's a very simple question. If we use just a formula, that uh, the length of the rod, uh, is this matter of steel, as is uh, according to the data, is uh, 150 centimeter. So initial length is 150 cent 150 centimeter, corresponding root temperature 25 degrees centigrade, and find its uh, length uh, when it is heated to 150 degrees centigrade. The solution is very simple. Though it is not given, uh, the length at 0 degrees centigrade and uh, from 0 to certain other temperature it is given that any one temperature to any other temperature other than 0 then also we can use the same formula because in case of uh, 0 and 2 certain temperature t we use l t equals to l0 r plus alpha delta t if it is from t1 to t2 then also you can use suppose l2 equals to l1 into r plus alpha t2 minus t1 that formula you can use <coughs> so i write the formula this formula you can use now here delta t stands for the change in temperature this is 150 minus 25 that is 150 alpha is this l1 is the uh, initial length or is uh, 150 so l2 can be found so just you have to plug the values and get the answer there is nothing so simple 150 This gives us this uh, 125, 2.2, and then point divided by 10 to 5. So you will see right 250 plus something and uh, 1.00 something. I'll just write the values are not going to solve for you. This is the value that you are getting here that this basically whole thing starts at 0 0.00275. 1 plus 0 0.00275 is 1.00275 into this. So you multiply this and you get the answer in centimeter because this is in centimeter. So as a comes out to be 150 plus uh, 0.41 centimeter. So now the uh, change in length is only 0.41 centimeter. So when the steel rod is heated, uh, when there is a difference of temperature of 125 degrees centigrade, the length increases here by 0.41 centimeter. So small number. Anyway, next uh, we will have uh, another question on uh, this uh, expansion. Question number six. The question number six, uh, just uh, write for you. As you can see, the question is uh, the difference of lengths of a steel rod and a brass rod. So we have two rods of different material. One is brass, another is steel. Now, the the temperature difference between these two rods is 0.6 meter at all temperature difference. Okay. So if uh, both of them are at zero degree centigrade, then also the difference in the uh, length is 40.6 meter. And if suppose I heat to, to suppose 50 degrees centigrade in both the cases, then also the difference uh, comes out to be 0.6 centimeter. That is 0.6 meter. So that means they maintain the difference of length, which is a constant 0.6 meter at all 
temperatures. That means at all temperatures means uh, at the same temperatures. Now, what are their lengths at 0 degree centigrade? So, that means uh, if you have uh, different temperatures, then uh, 0 degree centigrade is one of them. You can have temperature 10 degree centigrade, you can heat it to 20 degree centigrade, any temperature. So, you can also ask question that uh, what will be the length at certain temperature. So, instead of choosing any temperature, he chooses 0 degree centigrade. So, the question is to find the what are their lengths at uh, 0 degree centigrade. So, he chooses 0 degree centigrade and says that if this rod is at 0 degree centigrade, whether the steel or the brass, what is its length? You have to find the length of both the cases at 0 degree centigrade. What should be given is the alpha for brass is this and alpha for steel is this. So, we'll, uh, we have to find two things, length of brass and steel at 0 degree centigrade. That means we have two unknowns. If we have two unknowns, we will require two equations to solve. One equation uh, is already there in the first uh, sentence that two rods maintain their uh, difference 0.6 meter. So, the difference is always 0.6. That is one equation. I will say the length of theory centigrade for brass and uh, is x and for steel is y. So, x minus y or y minus x, what you say, is 0.6. This is one equation. Then, uh, how to get another equation involving <coughs> x and y? So, to do that, <coughs> I will take, uh, I will heat the rod to any temperature. We can take a known temperature also, or unknown temperature, any general temperature, T degree centigrade. That makes no difference to the solution. So, we will write uh, equations for 0 degree centigrade and T degree centigrade for both steel and brass. One equation we have initially at 0 degree centigrade for both, difference is 0.6, and any temperature I heat, it is point. Suppose I heat to T degree centigrade, then also the difference is also 0.6. In this, we will apply the formula, general formula, to get and proceed to solve. That we will do. Okay. Students, so that is how we will proceed <coughs> to solve. First of all, we will write those two equations. One corresponding to 0 degree centigrade, the length of steel at 0 degree centigrade minus length of grass at 0 degree centigrade is 0.6 equation number 1 I can have any other temperature at 0 degree centigrade So, this also we will write at any temperature T. So, this is the length of the steel at corresponding temperature T and this difference also remains uh, 0 0.6 because it uh, question says that it is always at all temperatures the difference is 0.6. This we have to use general formula and uh, then expand it. See what we are getting here LST is uh, that is like LD is L01 plus alpha delta D. So, this uh, we are going to use this formula twice one for steel and another for brass and we will proceed. So, LD for steel and LT for brass is 0 0.6. So, this is uh, LOS into 1 plus alpha for steel, delta T is T because uh, from 0 to T we have heated, so this difference is 3 minus of this LO, V 
1 plus alpha dt equals to 0 0.6 okay so what we have done is uh, we have just written lt is l0 into 1 plus alpha delta t formula because s is there for steel so we are using s subscript for uh, steel and uh, this is for uh, brass now i will open this i will get los plus Okay, just open the bracket you like this. I can put these two together. Uh, from here, uh, I can have see here uh, zero minus L O B. This uh, is actually, in fact, equation number one. This is equation number one that is 0 0.6 the difference is 0 0.6 always at all temperatures that is given to us so this is nothing but 0 0.6 because the difference uh, corresponding to 0 degree centigrade would always be 0 0.6 plus here alpha is alpha is for alpha steel okay so here t can be taken as common l o s alpha s l o b You can cancel out the 0 0.6 goes to the other side the t becomes 0 so this is uh, from here this is twice los is this if you put the value here alpha b alpha s division alpha b was uh, <coughs> 1.8 10 to minus 5 given in the question 40 centigrade this uh, 1.2 10 to minus 5 40 centigrade that, that will cancel out this will also cancel out and uh, this is uh, 18 by 12 6 3 18 6, 6 to the 12 so 3 by 2 so from here you can write LOS equals to LOB 3 by 2. You write LOS or LSO, whatever is that means the same thing. This is this is equation number 3. Now I will go back to the equation number 1, which is LOS minus LOB is uh, 0 0.6. This is equation number 1. And uh, this is uh, these are the two unknowns and the two equations are there. So I will just solve and get the answer. So I will just replace LOS as this here. So I'll get LOB 3 by 2 minus LOB is uh, 0 0.6. So this is uh, two, 1 by 2. So LOB is uh, uh, 1 by 2 is 0 0.6. So LOB is uh, 1.2. And uh, this was a meter. So answer is in meter. LOB is uh, 1.2 meter. That means the length of the brass rod at 0 degree centigrade. This means length of brass at 0 degree centigrade is 1.2 meter now what is the length of the steel rod at 0 degree centigrade so you can use any of the two equations and get the answer suppose i use this equation because the difference is always uh, 0.6 we will see here if you put the value here in equation number one what will get los minus LOB, LOB comes out to be 1.2, this is 0 0.6, so LOS is 1.8 meter. This is the answer to this question, that the length of uh, steel will be 1.8 meter and that is 1.2 meter for at 0 degree centigrade. So initially the temperature was, uh, the length was this and this at 0 degree centigrade. If you take the difference, that satisfies this equation 0.6 meter. So always it is 46 meter at any temperature. Okay, thank you.